Well, welcome back to Packers Corner. Uh, I'm Troy, and uh, just thought I'd send out one more video for you guys. I had some people ask about um, what about sending cards to directly to PSA. Uh, some had questions about filling out the paperwork or simply just how to do them. And so I thought I'd just do a quick video on how to do uh, the actual process of sending the cards to PSA. If you happen to be a member, or if you're not a member, you can actually have cards uh, re-encapsulated by PSA if they are damaged. You don't have to be a member in order for that to happen. So here's what you do. First of all, you decide what cards you want. And for example here, I've got a few cards. Um, this is a, an autograph card that I'm thinking about sending off right now. Here is another one. This is a Clay Matthews autograph card I'm thinking about sending off. I want to say this one here. But This is a Donald Driver uh, rookie from 99. Say I decide to send the uh, Donald Driver rookie off to get graded and decided how to send it. Well, first of all, these top loaders that they come in, the real hard ones, you cannot send these to PSA. They do not want them. They say they send them back. So this is not the type of uh, type of card holder you need. What you actually need <clears throat> are these. And these are called, of course, Ultra Pro. They're real flimsy. And the reason is, is because I believe that they actually cut the card around the edges and take out the card so they don't have to worry about banging it if you've ever taken a card out before. Uh, that's what they do. So you take your card, and I would suggest taking your card out and leave it, of course, inside the penny sleeve. It's a good idea to leave, leave it inside the penny sleeve. Take your Ultra Pro, crack her open, slide her inside, and I've actually figured out a way to get it inside a little bit better, and that's just by blowing just real gently, not warm or cold, but just like, you know, just air, just to get it centered so it's like this inside. You can see that's pretty snug in there. I could shake it, and it's not moving anywhere. And so that's how they want you to send in all of your cards to be graded at PSA. Now, BGS might have some other um, concept or some other idea they want to send yours in, but this is a PSA, and that's what I belong to, so that's what I'm telling you. Um, so you have one of these. You put them together, and <clears throat> say you're sending off several. Um, I've got some I've already put together that I plan on sending off at some point. I keep myself a little box. Uh, yeah, that's right. 1995. I've had this for a while. <laughs> but anyways, um, some say I'm sending off a bunch of cards. Like this one here is a 1963. Um, this one's a Curly Lambeau card. It comes from the playing deck. Uh, hard to find. It's the only card of his, actually the first card of his, where he was actually printed about him on a card. Uh, here is a uh, Tony Candonado, or Candonio, Dio, excuse me, uh, 1950 rookie. Say I'm sending just a couple of these off. Say here's another one. This is, again, a Jermichael Finley autographed rookie, number to 99. And uh, let's find something else that maybe has some interest here. Uh, ah, here we go. This is a beautiful card. This is a Henry Jordan 1961 Tops card. Again, another Packer Hall of Fame uh, rookie card that um, it's hard to find. This is a really sweet card. Bought this uh, offline a while ago. So say I'm going to send all these cards off. So I've got all these cards here. Now usually I send off about 10 at a time but or more, sometimes 18 to 20. But I put them all together. When they're all together like that, nice and snug, they're not going to move around because they're together. What I suggest you do, and also PSA suggests you do, is to take cardboard. Again, our best friend when we're sending things through the mail, if you saw my other video, and what you actually do is take them, lay them between two pieces of cardboard like this, take another piece, put it on the other side, and do not clamp them down, but take rubber bands, one or two of them, and put them around them like this. Now, what you'd want to do is also put one the other way, so it kind of gives a little bit of a pinch down so they can't move. If you shake them, they won't go anywhere. Now, um, I've taped mine before. I'm kind of nervous when I tape them because I think I'm going to damage the cards or bend them or something like that. I know some of the cards. An example would be this type of card right here. This is a, a BJ Raja autograph rookie. The actual surface of it uh, is like a raised, I don't know, a glossy thing, and it actually crack. You can crack it. I had a Donald Driver rookie for Fleer that cracked uh, when I put it in, and instead of getting a 10, which I thought I was going to get, I got a five simply because of the surface crack. So. Don't, don't bend it. So once you have it like this, of course, the next thing you do is you get your box together. Now, I usually buy boxes like this. Boxes like this, you can pretty pick up at Walmart. I don't know, a dollar or so. It's a really nice size box. Um, doesn't have to be too large. Just something to kind of keep it protected. Do not send them in, in the envelopes. Um, when you're talking about cards and you got maybe 10 plus and a little bit of value, you probably don't want to send them in an envelope. Uh, too easily damaged. And, of course, inside of it, go ahead and fill it with peanuts, uh, bubble paper. Um, I usually use bubble paper and I wrap it really good. 
put it inside there so that it's so that it's kind of angled. Sometimes you know maybe you want to do it another way just so that it's not able to be moved around or if it does move around it doesn't cause a lot of damage. And um, make sure you seal it up. You have your paperwork inside. And one of the big things is, is make sure you write on the outside of the box what level of PSA grading it's going to. Um, if you look on a normal <clears throat> PSA grading form like I have right here, they ask you what level you want. It's down in this area right through here. If you're going to send it at regular, which is $15 a grade, well then you make sure all over the box you write regular on every side. That way when they get it, they know exactly where it's going. Uh, I usually send by bulk, minimum 10 cards. Um, so I put bulk all over mine. Uh, I just returned one that was cracked that I received from PSA. They did an excellent job. Actually, I told me where to send it, sent it in. They're fixing it right now. Sent me actually a, a voucher for a free grade because they made the mistake of having it damaged by the machine when it was being encapsulated. They, they take care of you really well. So anyways, fill this paperwork out. And I'm going to have a video later about how to correctly fill out this paperwork because this can be kind of a pain sometimes. But just make sure that you do this the right way securely don't pinch it down make sure you got the box right and uh, when you send it off I definitely would do insurance and delivery confirmation they say to certified mail it I've done that once before and it took over two weeks to get there It kinda made me upset because it took so long I don't know if you're like me I'm anxious to get my cards back but I usually at least do insurance and delivery confirmation so that um, it gets there a little bit quicker yet I'm protected and it's, it's uh, safe and stuff so that's my video for now thank you for looking at Packers Corner and we will be back soon with some more videos thank you and God bless